Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today this video is about Microsoft Windows 11. KB5029263 OS build 22621.2134 Starting with this build and talking about the new things introduced to this build. Firstly, this update addresses security issues for your Windows operating system. This security update includes improvements that were a part of update KB5028254, released July 26, 2023. This update makes miscellaneous security improvements to internal OS functionality. No additional issues were documented for this release. If you installed earlier updates, only the new updates contained in this package will be downloaded and installed on your device. Moving forward, this update makes brightness settings more accurate. This update addresses an issue that affects certain display and audio devices. They are missing after your system resumes from sleep. This update addresses an issue that affects widgets. They unpin from the taskbar when you do not expect it. This update addresses an issue that affects virtual private networks (VPN). There might be excessive address resolution protocol (ARP) requests to the network gateway. This occurs when the VPN is on a wireless mesh network that uses an aggressive throttling algorithm. Because of this, network performance is poor. This update affects the handwriting software input panel (SIP), the handwriting engine, and the handwriting embedded inking control. They now support GB 18030 to 2022 conformance level 2. Because of this, they meet the level 3 requirements. This update addresses an issue in the Windows notification platform. The issue affects how much power your device uses. This update affects the Windows Push Notification Services WNS. It makes the connection between the client and the WNS server more reliable. This update addresses an issue that affects hybrid joined devices. You cannot sign into them if they are not connected to the internet. This occurs when you use a Windows Hello for business PIN or biometric credentials. This issue applies to a Cloud Trust deployment. This update affects Windows Autopilot profiles. The process to download the Windows Autopilot policy is more resilient. This helps when a network connection might not be fully initialized. This update increases the retry attempts when you try to download the Windows Autopilot profile. This update addresses an issue that affects event forwarding subscriptions. When you add an event channel to the subscription, it forwards events you do not need. This update addresses an issue that affects the Windows Management Instrumentation WMI, repository. This causes an installation error. The issue occurs when a device does not shut down properly. This update addresses an issue that affects certain CPUs. There is inconsistent reporting of the L2 cache. This update enhances hinting for some of the letters of the Verdana Profond family. This update affects user mode printer drivers. They unload unexpectedly. This occurs when you print from multiple print queues to the same printer driver. This update affects text edit controls in Xamlin browser controls. You cannot make text edit controls editable again after they become read-only. This occurs when you use the new Microsoft Input Method Editor for Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. This update makes the narrator announce the change product key label. This update addresses an issue that affects the Defender Firewall profile. It fails to automatically switch from a LAN that is trusted to a public network. This update makes Country and Operator Settings Asset COSA, profiles up to date. This update addresses an issue that affects a printing job. An unexpected Internet Printing Protocol IPP, mode switch can cause the print job to abruptly stop. This occurs when there is an independent hardware vendor IHV, driver. This update addresses an issue that affects certain wireless wide area network WWAN, devices. After every restart, a dialog reappears. It asks you to switch to an embedded SIM, eSIM, even when you choose no. This update addresses a deadlock in Internet Protocol Security IPsec. When you configure servers with IPsec rules, they stop responding. This issue affects virtual and physical servers. This update addresses an issue that affects the MPSSV service. The issues causes your system to restart repeatedly. The stop error code is 0f. This update affects the Windows kernel vulnerable driver block list, driver C policy.p7b. It adds drivers that are at risk for bring your own vulnerable driver, BYOVD, attacks. This update addresses an issue that affects Windows Defender Application Control WDAC. The issue copies on SIMDAC policies to the extensible firmware interface EFI, disk partition. This partition is reserved for signed policies. This update addresses an issue that affects VEC. The disabled, script enforcement option might create audit events you do not need. 
This update addresses an issue that affects the fast FAT file system driver. It stops responding because of a race condition. This update addresses an issue that affects I.O. over server message block, SMB. It might fail when you use the LZ77 plus Huffman compression algorithm. So that was all from Microsoft for this build. If you want to know more, follow the link to the official Microsoft blog from the description. Hope it was useful consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.